and good day. Today we're having a look at this. It's the Breville the Smart Toast. It's a motorised four slice toaster with fruit bread setting. And a bit of information in the front there. Flip up and I'll just simply roll the box around. Whoops. And go around this side. Not a lot to see. And this is the interesting one. It says 130 seconds on this one and 175 seconds on that. So it'll be interesting to see if it does it. And on the very bottom of the box, that's what we've got on the bottom. So that's it. I've taken the liberty of speeding up this section of the video. It did take quite a while to get the toaster out of the box and on the table. So we've gone through that. And here is the rest of the video at normal speed. You have a two-year warranty, that's a replacement warranty which is kind of handy, and you have the instruction manual. Now the instruction manual has nice big letters so it's very easy to read and I like that sort of thing, it makes it easy for me, I don't need my reading glasses. And again I'll just flip through this fairly fast and if there's anything of interest you simply pause, have a read, We're nearly there. Only a couple more pages to go. Quite a bit of info in here. And we're up towards the end of the video. End of the page, I should say. <laughs> and we've got here a notepad. And on the back, that's it. There's the toaster. Now, the toaster itself, I'll put that box out of the way. Get that out of the way. Go away, box. And um, as you can see, we've got five buttons on this side, five buttons on the other. So extra wide slots for the toast. We've got toast cancel, lift and look, crumpet and fruit bread, which is one button here, frozen button, and a bit more. In the front, they've got some sliders. Now, these sliders are independent of each other, and they're infinite uh, toasting sort of capability so there's no set numbers on it you can actually move it to wherever you like the lights come on in here this is actually a countdown timer so we'll see that in operation you have underneath some little uh, toast crumb collectors side looks like this flip it around the other side that's what it looks like on the back and go around one more time and underneath we'll have a quick look at that oops get that round that way and that's the look at the toaster. Now it's a Breville itself, I quite like them. I've uh, got a few Breville products now and uh, they tend to be pretty good, but they're not cheap. They tend to be a little bit more expensive than other brands on the market, but they perform extremely well. And that's why I've got this Breville toaster. And as you can see, we've just turned it on. So we're getting power on for the first time. Now in the instructions, what they recommend is to put the highest setting for the temperatures and cook with nothing actually in it and that will uh, heat up the elements and hopefully clean them out a little bit so we'll come back once this is done now we're going to test two pieces of toast one is frozen the other one's well it's thawed out so let's pop them in the far side on this one we'll press uh, we might actually set it to We'll do three and a half on both of them just to see how they compare. Three and a half. We got it right, have we? Three, three and a half. That's about right, it looks. We'll press frozen. And on this one. Okay, so maybe how do we go this? So down she goes. And as you can see, we have the frozen is illuminated. So it will be interesting. I've got both of these set to have exactly the same uh, amount of colour on them. So the test is on. We'll find out soon enough, won't we? I'll wait till it pops up and then we'll check it out at that point. And there we go. And up it comes. So we'll leave this. I won't touch it. I'll wait for the other one to finish its um, cooking and we'll check it out. You can see this is automatically popped back to the setting. So we'll come back 
when the other one, well, it's uh, actually I might leave it going. It's nearly nearly there now. So it will be interesting to see what the difference in the toast is. I think it's 20 or 30 seconds, I think it is, and turns itself off. I'm not certain. I have to look up here. There it goes. So the other one now is popping up. Now let's compare the two and see what we've got. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, not too bad at all actually, quite good. A bit hot on the fingers though. So the next thing we're going to do, well of course is crumpets. Let's throw a couple in here and we will press that and we will press crumpet and let it go. And we'll come back to it once it's cooked. So we'll see how we go. We're, we're nearly at it at the moment. And the crumpet light is still on. And up we come. And that looks perfect. Well, wow. hot on the fingers. Now I've been using the toaster for quite a while now and starting to collect some bread crumbs down the bottom. All the functions work perfectly. The obviously toast and the cancel is the same button here. Uh, the lift and look, that works. So if you've got the toaster going and this is illuminated, you just press this, it lifts up the toast. You can have a bit of a look if you want it um, to continue. Don't do anything and a toaster automatically drops it down and continues the cooking cycle. The crumpet function is exactly as described, cooks a little bit more on one side than the other, so that uh, is handy. Frozen also works well, so if you're cooking toast and you press frozen, I'm not certain if it adds extra heat or extra time, but the toast comes out great. And if you're not quite happy at any time with the uh, colour of the toast, you want a bit browner, click a bit more and again takes it back down, works perfect. Toaster overall, cannot fault it. Absolutely love it. And if you buy one, you will not be disappointed. That I can guarantee. Now, hopefully you've enjoyed watching my video. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, doesn't matter. Hopefully you might even leave a comment. I'd appreciate that as well. And with a bit of luck, I might even catch you on the very next video, whatever it happens to be. All the very best till then. Bye for now.